You, you hurt yourself all the time, not only um, abuse of drugs and alcohol, but you, you cut yourself. I mean, that's one of the things I, I can't understand at all. Do you have any explanation for that? I think it's, it's quite common. It's, get, it's on the increase. Um, it's all about self-discipline. Um, like, self-obsession is connected completely with self-loathing. Uh, and it's the same with, um, you know, if you've got a weight problem. It's all about... Um, Finding some worth in yourself, you know, knowing that you've got the discipline to do it, um, and knowing that other people maybe can't do it. And it's also, I think, really connected to the fact that you almost feel um, like silent. You have no voice. You may there's just no, no, you've got no option. Um, and that even if you could express yourself, nobody would listen anyway. And um, things that go on inside you, there's no other way to, to get rid of them. I mean. I've been in clinics where there's been lots of people who have um, kept themselves and abused themselves, you know, physically and violently. And it's pretty common, it's cliched amongst people who do it, that when they do it, they don't actually feel any pain, you know, even when you may be having stitches in your body and things have been, you know, done to you. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, you know, you're in a frame of mind where it really does not hurt. You know, maybe a few days later, you get a certain amount of pain as the skin starts to heal. Uh, but when you're in that frame of mind, it's like really natural. It's like the only thing, the only logical thing to do. Otherwise, you feel you could almost do something to another person, and that is something that I would, you know, again, like I said, I would never ever take out on somebody else. Maybe what things I do is more concerned with the fact I don't like myself very much. Um, and so I would not expect anybody else to judge me that highly, you know. So if I discipline myself, if I can feel um, relatively content with um, my mental state and my physical state, if I can balance those two, then I feel okay and I, I'm, not, you know, I don't really, I'm not really worried what people think about me um, because, you know, I, I judge myself harsher on a more strict terms than they ever could probably, I think. Mm. But, but why are you hard on yourself? Um, I've always felt the need to prove myself against other people. I mean, I've been, I'm quite a weak person physically, you know, and I think in school, you know, I wouldn't say I was bullied, but, you know, you do feel scared sometimes or, or frightened, and the only thing I thought I had that was different from other people was the fact that I was actually, you know, quite intelligent, I liked reading and passing exams or whatever, I, but even say things like A-levels and I got straight A's, but say somebody else got straight A's, I would not feel as good as them because I didn't know what percentages we had. You know, I wanted to know that I had 98% and they had 95%. And <laughs> um, it wasn't enough, you know, I felt next to somebody with the same qualifications as me, I would not feel as good because, you know, an A, what does an A stand for? You know, you don't really know what it means. Um, so you're constantly trying to get better. 
and improve um, all the all the, the time. That's why um, I was so disappointed with myself when I started drinking because I didn't drink till I was at university. I didn't use drugs until I was I graduated. Um, whereas everybody was doing it in school, and I didn't have the need for it because. I didn't want to like interrupt my mind, you know, but got to a point where I could not sleep and people said, you know, if you have a few drinks, it'll help you get to sleep, which it did, you know, alcohol for me was always very functional, drugs for me were always very functional. And, you know, obviously it escalates, you know, the, the tolerance increases and another story. You're on the road now with the band and um, I imagine if you do have a potential drink or drugs problem, it is the hardest place to be. How, how do you cope now? Mm. No, like I said, that's, that's easy. I know what happens if I drink. I know what happens if I use. It's something that I don't want to go back to. Um, the last thing I want is to end up like somebody like Shane McGowan, you know. I've seen him, I've seen him around. I think he was a fantastic lyricist when he started off. Um, and I hate the kind of grudging respect people give him now you know when I see Shane on stage sometimes when he can't even sing anymore and he's falling over and they, they're talking about the genius of the man um, and I find that very very, very patronizing it's just like watching somebody die very slowly um, and that upsets me because I think he was like you know a godlike lyricist and I don't think that's there anymore really um, and I don't find that enjoyable and I don't find the thought of being like that myself very enjoyable Text van dit yes dat je daarnet hoorde. I find that again uh, extraordinary that the chorus, he's a boy you want to go so tear off his cock, ties Aaron bunches, fucking call him Rita if you want. Where, where's it coming from? <laughs> well, in, I think, you know, in terms of actually ever doing that, I've never actually ripped off somebody's cock. Um, no, but I mean just the idea. I mean, I, I assumed at first that it must be pers intensely personal. Um, yeah, I think it is quite, it is quite personal. Um, they just, I mean, it's not like, yes, it's about self-image and it's about um, feeling used. Like, when I lost my virginity, it was a definite act that I was 21. Everybody, for years and years, you know, been fucking around me, saying how brilliant it was. And I felt, you know, like, oh, I've, you know, all right, I'm not happy. Maybe there is this glorious effect that's going to change your life. And so I just deliberately went out and sat in a pub drank until somebody came up and said, do you want to come back to my house? And I went back and we felt it was very clinical and the next day I felt, you know, really bad. You know, I didn't like it. Um, and that kind of shaped my perspective on things. Um, but something that's puzzling me is that you come across as being uh, very shy and, and introverted, so how can you get on a stage in front of thousands of people? Um, well, that's one of the reasons I started drinking, you know, because it always, it always helped. Um, going on stage, I guess, you know, it's part, it's part of the job that I don't like, you know. Have you ever been in love? I've told myself I've been in love. I've told myself I've been in love lots of times, you know, but that's kind of like forced. Um, I'm supposed to be, I'm old enough now, I, I should feel this, this way. I would just say I've been in less. I've been physically attracted to people for lengthy periods of time and to the exclusion of everything else, but I wouldn't necessarily call that love because if it was love, it would last. Um, you know, I'm too old-fashioned in that sense, you know. If it doesn't last, then it's not love, you know, because I think love is eternal, probably. Generally speaking, are, are you happy with your lot? I'm... Um, I don't come across too much as a moaning old bastard. But you know, there's certain things I would like to change. I would like to improve huge parts of my body. Um, and mentally, I, there's lots of things I wish I was better at. I mean, I cannot ever come to terms with the fact that I cannot learn a language. You know, I, I've, I wouldn't have, I can't say I've ever really tried that hard, but it's an exam I've ever failed, French. Um, Every time I've tried to learn a few words, I just can't, cannot seem to do it. You know, I just cannot seem to seep into my mind. And I know other people that learn that languages so easily. You know, they've got four or five languages, and I'm really, really envious of that. Um, 
So little things like that I would like to change, but you know, generally, you know, today, for these 24 hours, I'm, I'm not in a good mood.